It is currently 8.40 p.m. and I'm attending the Worldwide Ride-a-thon. It's a 36-hour one this time. We'll see how far I get. I've had a really bad riding day, so I'm hoping that this will get me back on track, get me in a better place with my riding, and get me caught up to where I need to be. I currently have 14 pages of edited work for my second packet, and I'm on page three of new stuff. Um, I need at least 25 pages, but I really want at least 50, because I want to take advantage of this opportunity um, and I feel like I'm kind of wasting it a little bit. Um, I had a lot of author doubt today, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of imposter syndrome stuff going on. I'm just trying to push that back and get on with my writing and you know do the best I can. So we will see um, how much I get done during these sprints. There are 18 different sprints and we'll see how far I get through them. I took a nap earlier, so I should be good for, you know, a couple hours. Um, and I have a standing desk now, so hopefully the sitting and standing will help me, you know, stay fresh um, and get through it. So here is hoping that um, I make it and I'm gonna vlog the whole experience and so we will see. The first sprint. <laughs> yeah, I, oh man, I just really hope it's like getting better and not just different. That's like always one of my fears when revising is like, am I making this better or is it just... For sprint one of the Worldwide write a I got 465 words, which I'm pretty okay with that. Part of the problem that I got into, because I, I did pretty well, I got 243 in the first sprint, and then the second and third sprint I didn't do as well. I started to write it a little bit more like a medieval fantasy, which is not the vibe I'm going for. So I kind of got like hung up on that and wasn't sure how to get out of that and do something different so it sounded more like the world I was creating so I ended up just kind of like skipping over that and going to the end part which I knew what was gonna happen and so that's where I'm at right now I have five pages so I've added two pages since this morning so you know not bad um I'll take it my plan was to do a lot more of the sprints but I'm already feeling myself like falling asleep so I may do part of this second sprint and then call it a night but uh, it's like 25 minutes until the next sprint starts I don't want to give up on this sprint because or this writing tonight because it's actually going okay I think my mind's like because I'm so kind of like tired my mind's just like yeah we'll, we'll work let's just you know write some words you don't have to worry about it it's like the turtle from Finding Nemo. So I like that aspect of it, so I don't want to lose that, but at the same time, I'm, I'm fading fast. The face I wake up to every morning. Day two of the World Wide ride a That was really hard to say. Um, I did not do any more sprinting last night. I was like, no, brain is not working. Um, it's already 11.45 a.m. now, so I've missed a lot of the sprints. Getting up and having to do some work things first. Now that I have that done, though, I have the rest of the weekend set aside for writing. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of writing before lunch and then go to Starbucks and do more writing there. I think I'm, you know, I'm getting to a better place with it. I'm just kind of writing and there's some holes in the new chapter that I'm writing, but hopefully I can figure it out. Um, I'm on page five. I'd like to finish this chapter. Ideally, I'd like to finish act two, 
but I don't know if I'll get that far. But if I at least finish this chapter, that would be nice. I just need to make sense of my outline page. That is my that is my goal. I say yes just because that sounds awesome. Good morning. It's day three of the worldwide ride a thon. Um, I was able to catch a little bit of the just the very end of the 17th sprint. So I have the 18th sprint left. It is the final one. We'll see what I can get done considering I just woke up. Five thousand. I always get the title wrong. Five thousand words in an hour. Yeah. Wanna say hi to the vlog? Oh here's my issue. I just finished um, a Medium article that I had stored on there and never finished. So I just finished that and now I'm trying to go back to my work in progress, try and find myself again. We have a 15 minute sprint. It's gonna be the last sprint of the Worldwide Write-a-thon. So I want to get some words done. We will see what I get done. I survived the 36 hour worldwide ride a thon. Now, granted, I did not go to each of the sprints. I attended seven in total. Um, but you know, a girl's gotta sleep, so that's what happens. I'm still proud of what I accomplished though. I wrote just over 4,000 words in a 36 hour time span, so you know, that's nothing to sneeze at. Um, I got a lot of stuff done. I got a couple of medium articles written, I worked on my fiction, and yeah, I made progress. Um, the one thing that I'm taking away from this experience really is using those sprints wisely. Um, when I went into it, I was like, you know, writing sprints on me don't necessarily work all that well. It's really hard for me, I felt, to like start and stop action, and I wanted to just sit for a long period of time and work. The problem with that is that then you're just sitting for a long period of time and you're not really getting any work done um, because you're like, oh, I have four hours to work. So the sprints um, really helped. I really like 15 minute sprints. Those are really good um, because then you're focused for 15 minutes and then you get to take a break. And I think I need to start implementing sprints a lot more in my writing. So setting up that time limit for me, I think is going to be very helpful. Comment down below and let me know if you participated in the Worldwide Write-a-thon and how your experience went. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next page. Bye.